There seems to be this interesting trend I'm noticing on the online spheres. Those gosh darned femoids being all hysterical and crazy trying to make all dudes on the planet look creepy and out for blood. They really need to lay off the crime junkies and true crime obsessed podcasts. That's just not how the real world works, right bros? We aren't all monsters, no, no. Bunny. I've got a short video for y'all in between the main ones. I saw this TikTok surface on Twitter with, of course, the most golden, big-brained, high IQ takes. <laughs> the kind of stuff where you're like, hey human race, on Twitter, how's it going, little man? Jesus Christ. All right, so we're gonna give it a watch and go through, break it down, talk about it, and all that kind of stuff. I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine and I'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it but it scared me. I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. She starts off pretty much dressing up her video to be one of those, hey I just had something pretty scary happen and here's what, what you can do if you're in this situation. That sort of deal. Nothing too unusual yet. So this guy, I am a alone with my son by myself, a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's like, excuse me, miss, and I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do. She explains through a shaky voice that she was alone with her son and a lone male approached her in a parking lot. A at this point, I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty scary. I know I've definitely been in a similar situation and it's one that I'd love to not be in ever again. And before he, I mean, he was probably 30 feet from me when he said, excuse me, ma'am. And I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said, do not approach me. And he like, immediately started going in the other direction and I just kept saying it over and over and over. I said, do not approach me. Do not approach me. Here's where things get controversial. The woman explains that maybe he only got like 30 feet to her. That's about nine meters for non-freedom unit using friends. And he says, excuse me, ma'am. He couldn't get anything else out before she yells, do not approach me. And at this point, I'm following along with her so far. Makes perfect sense to me. For some, this might already be a lot, but we all get into that in a sec. And he, of course, like, got like, what the F did it? Like, he started cussing and yelling, like, what, what's your problem? And I, and I looked at him and he started, he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car. He didn't come anywhere near me. He crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like, what's con continuing to cuss and say, what's your problem? And I said, you do not approach women in a parking lot. I just kept saying, do not approach me. You do not approach women in a parking lot. Like, yelling it. No male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever she explains he starts going in the opposite direction kind of circling around cussing yelling at her continuously doing that as she keeps on yelling at him not to approach her she then adds to her yelling you do not approach a woman in a parking lot followed by telling the camera that no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot this is the part that rustles jimmy's <laughs> But again, we'll get into that in a moment, but let's continue and just let the lady finish really quick. Should No male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot. And if a male does approach you, you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them. Don't be polite. They need to literally screw off. No male should be approaching you in a parking lot. She continues on saying that you should use the strongest voice you can possibly muster. Do not be polite. This seems a little extreme, but here's the thing. She's right. She's absolutely right. <laughs> he has zero reason. Honestly, he nor anyone else for that matter has any reason any need to approach her alone in a parking lot zero if he genuinely needs some sort of help he can take that Bruh. inside wherever the hell they are ask a professional to help or maybe he's like you know in a situation where the person you're approaching isn't a woman alone in a parking lot you know where there may be few to no witnesses where something to happen and maybe maybe cctv cameras to catch the act once it's too late and harm's already been done there's no reason he needs to approach her like that if if they were inside of a store, maybe that would be a little different, eh. But she has 
zero business with him, therefore he has zero business with her. Another huge tell is how he reacted to her. If he didn't have any ill intent, he probably would have like, thrown his hands up and been like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, and backed away, and left her the hell alone without incidents. But it's the fact that he was yelling and cussing and blah 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 blah, and carrying on. And you know why? It's because he wasn't expecting her to stand her ground like that. That's frightening. So let's talk about some of these clown Bruh. responses. I like how she's so scared she didn't leave, but instead made this TikTok. Probably because, and imagine this, I know it's crazy, but she's probably still processing the shit and just had to exercise something she like recently learned and didn't think she'd have to exercise in scary situations. And while it's fresh on her freaking mind, she wants to spread that knowledge to others. Heaven forbid, I know, crazy, crazy concept. Ne never happened before. I know I personally would have been too shaken up to drive for a few minutes. The first thing I probably would have done if it weren't what she did to be able to show my friends is to call a friend. That's probably the first thing I would have done. I mean, it makes no sense to call the police quite yet because there's not exactly an incident, unfortunately, and they're not very helpful with situations like that. It makes perfect sense to me, but no, because it's on the internet, she wants attention. I see this kind of thing a lot, like, how dare, how dare one of those cringe framoids spread methods to protect themselves after what have could have gone sour but didn't because of what she did. Shaking my head. I'm begging women to watch literally anything other than true crime documentaries. True crime podcasting has been ruinous to the minds of suburban white women because bad things don't happen to other kinds of women. <laughs> Only suburban white women like to enjoy mystery and crime and you know, learning about the politics of the justice system and all that. No, no. Even though crimes happen to, to men as well. No, it's 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 poisoning them. It's, it's poisoning their brains. <laughs> How dare. You know, because being yelled at by a lady in a parking lot is such a travesty. Can't believe this guy has lost everything ever because some monster of a woman he had no business talking to didn't even want to open the door for him to try anything. How dare she. Crazy lady. Clearly she's turned into true crime content on the reg because this stuff doesn't happen, right fellas? It's so funny too because if something were to actually have happened to her, she would have still been in the wrong, right? People would still be lighting her up and yapping their flaps about how she should have protected herself, she should have done this, should have done that, blah blah blah. Like, let's be honest with ourselves, there'd be flack about this and that, when in reality, the guy just doesn't need to be approaching her. And a little large tone, again, it's his response. If she did have a flat tire, drop something, jeez, what if he was trying to tell her tire was flat? Crazy concept. Too bad. She will figure it out. I'd rather drive with a flat and find out the hard way than even a shred of possibility of being harmed by a guy alone like that. Like a hundred percent. A thousand percent. There's no reason he could have like shouted that from a distance. You know, like, hey, uh, I'm so sorry to bother you. And uh, if she starts screaming, then you'd be like, hey, your tire's flat, your tire's flat. And then just leave it at that. Like, that's it. That's it. That's all it takes. Done. Situation done. <laughs> It's not that big of a deal. And going along with that, going going forward. Another large tells again his response. If she did have a flat tire, dropped something, left something inside on accident, and he saw, his response would have been like, oh, I'm so sorry, you forgot your blank, or what have you. Maybe raise a hand, showing the wallet, if that's what she dropped or whatever, and then just left her alone to sort her Bruh. out. Not back away and circle through cars to yell and cuss at her. And she never saw the wallet that dropped out of her purse again. I'd rather lose my wallet than my life. <laughs> Simple as that. I can get a new license, I can get a new bank card, I can earn money again in the future and get a new wallet, but I can't bring myself back from the dead. I can't undo trauma if it occurs. Ain't that hard to grasp, I think? Also, crazy concept. We don't owe people, especially like random strangers, a damned thing. Nothing. Like sure, politeness is great and a kind thing to do, sometimes considered, you know, like the right thing to do, but we've gotten a little too comfy with our expectations for that. Respect is earned, right? I, I feel like a lot of us are on the same page there. Respect is earned, not just hand it out. And like, yeah, it's frustrating when someone is rude. And yeah, sometimes they'll like catch an attitude back and that's fine. That's the right. But you, you can't expect kindness. How bonkers is it that you go out into the world minding your own Bruh. business and some dork Bruh. clown thinks you owe the owe him your time. Like, c come on now. Come on now. It shouldn't be bad to literally <laughs> mind your own Bruh. business and keep your Bruh. to yourself. Help is a luxury. It's a nice gesture. Not a requirement. She's not required to respond or help him. She should be allowed to do her shopping and conduct her business without being approached. Point blank period. Here's some experiences from, from some other people who were retweeting as well. Two years ago, a man smiled at me from across the parking lot and I was trying to be polite, so I just smiled back and then when I got to my car, he came over and tried to open the door and it still haunts me to this day. So I actually don't think this is an over 
reaction at all, TBH. I also went through something kind of similar. This happened in broad daylight, and it's not uncommon for women to have experiences like this. I think making fun of women for overreacting like this when a lot of us are traumatized is a very loserish thing to do. Being a woman is scary. I know that that, that kind of like phrase is like super triggering for some incels, but like, wow, imagine, imagine that being born with a cooter is more scary. What a fucking travesty. It's against the law. Heaven, heaven forbid they need to protect themselves from you. Sometimes being polite makes you more vulnerable. I would rather be seen as a crazy bitch and be safe than face the alternative. I don't know. Crazy, huh? Real talk though, what she did was smart. <laughs> Not so great individuals take advantage of politeness. This is like, like an actual self-defense tactic. A lot of female born people are like taught things like this. <laughs> Ladies and feminine appearing individuals, if you feel unsafe, make a scene. Sternly say no. Leave no openings. It's better being a crazy b than a dead one. Thank you all for watching. I'll pickle your cucumber if you sub. All info for the art in this video, my socials, and etc. are below. Consider supporting the channel or getting art of your own. One-on-one -on -one feedback, PSDs, rigging files, and more on my Patreon if you would be so kind. If not, that's alright too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, be safe, bye!